up guys so today I want to do a real quick video showing you guys how to actually dyno tune a motorcycle when you've built your own dyno and um, a lot of people don't really know how to actually do the tuning part so today I'm going to show you guys how to tune a carbureted motorcycle so I want to do a quick review of the basics of uh, the parts of a carburetor and how we're going to tune it so here's your standard carb this is a Makuni VM22 and you're gonna have three adjustments you can make to a carburetor. First one is this screw here. This is your uh, air fuel ratio screw, and this is going to affect your idle and up to a quarter throttle. So this is how you're gonna tune up to a quarter throttle. Next part is going to be your needle. You unscrew the top of the carburetor to get to this. Okay. <coughs> So here is your needle. To adjust this, you adjust the height at which you place this clip. So you guys can see five different positions here. So raising and lowering the needle will affect the air fuel ratio and the power around mid throttle. And then the last variable you can adjust would be your main jet. On this carburetor, it's underneath this bolt right here. That's gonna be your full throttle. So on a carburetor, what you wanna do is you wanna throw it up on the dyno and you wanna adjust your idle to quarter throttle for maximum power, you want to adjust your mid throttle for max power, and then full throttle for max power. So that's what we're gonna do. If you guys are curious how to get a wide band O2 sensor hooked up, how to build a dyno, how to hook up an engine sensor, uh, please check out my other videos. And so this is our setup today. We got the laptop here, the wide band sensor, and our Arduino, which is gonna be controlling all the data collection. One thing you want to do before you start tuning is mark out your throttle for those three areas you're going to tune. So we have a quarter throttle marked. This is going to be for tuning the air fuel mixture screw. Half throttle marked, that's for tuning the needle. Full throttle, that's going to be for tuning the main jet. So we have the bike running right now. Hopefully you guys can see we're picking up the RPMs on the engine. And we got our air fuel ratio adjusted. So. You always want to shoot for around 12 to 1 for max power and then tune off the horsepower from there. So we're going to try to get quarter throttle to 12 to 1, we're going to try to get half throttle to 12 to 1, or we're going to try to get full throttle to 12 to 1. And we'll make fine tune adjustments looking at the horsepower curves right here. Okay, so you can see here we got the tire spinning and you can see at idle we're making on average about 0.2 horsepower and we got a 11.5 to one. So if we get that a little bit closer to 12, we should see this horsepower go up. Now, if we tune the air fuel ratio down, it's gonna drop the power. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. So, we tune this in the wrong direction. Let's go full turn in. That's gonna drop our air fuel ratio into the tens, and now our average power is now below 1.8. So you can see, you adjust the fueling to get the most power. And uh, that's how you dyno tune a carb bike. And it looks like we're putting out just about 10.7 horsepower at the wheel, which is really good for uh, this Grom style bike. So, all right, thanks everyone. Good luck with your own projects, and uh, like, subscribe, leave comments below.